So Chelsea Kane gets bullied off of Twitter because she made a book about female puberty and it didn't include trans people. Mockingbird writer Chelsea Kane has deleted her Twitter account after facing mounting backlash and accusations of transphobia. So for those of you who don't know, Man Eaters is a book about girls going through puberty and when they get their periods, they turn into ferocious cats. Very, very weird, but it's supposed to be some kind of symbolism about how women sh should um, not be ashamed of their periods or something like that. I don't really agree, <laughs> but I appreciate the thought. At least it's like kind of a caring thought like, oh, maybe I can empower some little girls who have been made fun of for having periods. Like Carrie from that movie. Remember that movie? So apparently there was this interview where she was asked if there would be an inclusion of trans people and she said no. You know, it's kind of difficult for this type of story to include trans people because trans men, once they transition, they don't menstruate anymore. Trans women never menstruate, so it's kind of hard to include them in the story. But what's more, she probably already had a story laid out and a whole idea of what she wanted to do. So I'm assuming that her plans for this comic book series did not include any side metaphors for trans people, which caused a small Twitter backlash and how she dealt with this was kind of unprofessional, I'll admit. She put the backlash in one of her comments. She actually took like some of the tweets and put them kind of like an easter egg word for word in the background of one of her comics and that's weird <laughs> i'll admit that's weird that's not how you deal with criticism but she is careful to not mention the people who put out the tweets and later on she said that she didn't realize that people were going to go out and actually find those real tweets it was just her way of dealing with it was to put it somewhere in the story. I, I'm, I'm honestly not really quite sure. I guess she was just upset that there were people out there being unappreciative of her hard work. It's like, oh, look how hard I am trying on this comic and there are still people out there criticizing me for something silly. So people see that she put the tweets in her book and they think like this solidifies that idea that she is a transphobic writer. And they're going to use the word TERF a lot. The idea behind this is that um, apparently it's a thing for feminism and trans rights to kind of not get along with each other all the time. I know that in multiple women's marches there are a lot of trans women who try to join in and the way that feminists view it is oh, well, you just became a woman recently. You haven't been a woman your whole life, so you don't know the struggle of us women, so you can't march with us. But I won't get too political about it. That's just kind of how they're feeling about Chelsea Kane now. They feel like, oh, well, you're saying that trans women aren't real women because you're not including them in your women going through puberty book. And Kane spoke out about this to say, I'm devastated that our comment has been attacked for excluding trans women because our plot involves periods. Having a period does not make a person a woman. I haven't had a period since I was, since I was 35. That's kind of a fair point. Most women don't have periods. We are girls and then we're menopausal. And then she goes on to say, but here's the thing. A large group of humans are shamed for bleeding every month. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, I get a little bit queasy when we talk about, you know, blood and periods and surgery and gross things. I don't really like that. But her point is, it's not necessarily about trans people. It's about trying to make little girls feel comfortable about their periods and not feel like monsters. And <laughs> she basically just says, it's about periods. Sorry and good night. Kind of thinking that that would be the end of it. 
but not really. What I'm getting from this is Chelsea Kane is basically saying, hey, it's aimed towards a specific demographic. That doesn't mean that you can't enjoy it, but it's not about you. And that's okay. It's honestly pretty reminiscent of some of the comments that Brie Larson has made in the past about, you know, Captain Marvel and A Wrinkle in Time. It's not made for you. It's a similar argument. Like, those movies, they're aimed towards a specific demographic, and you can still like it, even if you're not in that demographic. But you know, when watching those movies, it's not really made to be about you personally. And it's kind of funny, because when Brie Larson says it's not made for you to guys when talking about these movies, everyone cheers, everyone's like, yeah, tell them, Brie. But when Chelsea says, hey, I made this book series for a specific demographic that might not include trans people, people get really upset all of a sudden. They're like, hey, you can't exclude trans people from your weird period metaphors. That's transphobic. You know that Mag spoke out about this also, and I think that she actually made a very good point. But basically she says, just because it's not about you, just because it's not about us, doesn't mean that it's an attack on us. Just because it doesn't include us doesn't mean we're being excluded. Like I said before, you, you don't have to have a book be about you to enjoy it. I, I know that's like crazy talk nowadays. So Chelsea Kane was kind of trying to do some damage control on Twitter for a long time, and she made this post actually saying, hey, if you're trans, I'll send you some of the books ahead of time so you can read it for free and you can, you know, give me your opinion on it, tell me if it's offensive, tell me what's wrong with it, because these people won't tell me what's wrong with it, all they'll say is, oh well, it's not about trans, therefore it's transphobic. So she, she wants something specifically wrong with the book <laughs> that needs to be edited, I think that's fair, you know, if there's something transphobic in my book, just let me know, or if there's something insensitive in my book, just let me know, and I'll fix it, or at least I'll try. I feel like she was trying her best to kind of calm down the crowd. And they, they somehow reacted in backlash to this because she wasn't offering to pay them to read her books for free. Now me personally, I'm willing to help out a writer or an artist whenever they need it because everyone needs a second opinion on something. And she's openly saying to her fans, people who follow her, people who might not like her, hey, just tell me what's wrong with it. Criticize it all you want and I will listen. She's saying she will listen to the criticism and she will try to do better. And they attack her for that. That's confusing to me. What, what do you want her to do? If you don't want her to fix her books and, and make it better, what do you want from her? She already apologized a million times. Sad to think that she actually got bullied right off of Twitter that she would delete her account. Or By the time I upload this video, I bet she'll be back on Twitter. <laughs> That's my luck, right? When I finally get around to talking about uh, a big news story and, and then the next day it's like, nope. Everything is back to normal. But this was her final tweet. Nothing I say can make it better. I've learned that here. Intentions are kind of irrelevant. That's really sad. Actions are everything. So we will try to make the best last three comics we can. And I will work really hard to make up for my mistakes. Sorry, again, for all of it. She said sorry in every single one of her tweets before that. Would you believe that people were still giving her backlash even for this tweet? Even for this last tweet, people were like, sorry for what? Say what you did! I don't even know what she did, and you want her to explain it for you? You want her to explain why you're upset? It's like some bad cop in the interrogation room. Say her name! I don't even know her name! Say it! I don't even like Maneaters. I think it's a stupid story, and obviously it wasn't made for me. <laughs> I get grossed out when other girls talk about their periods, and I'm a woman! 
I'm a woman who has periods and I get grossed out and it's like I don't want that to be normalized. I don't want girls to be proud of periods. That's just, it's weird to me. I don't like it. I don't really think I like much of anything that Chelsea Kane has written, but she's not in the wrong here. I don't think she deserved to be bullied off of Twitter just because she didn't include you in the story. I don't think she could have done anything that would have made people happier. Even if she followed all of their advice that they were giving her, like, oh, donate to a trans charity, oh, make another formal apology, make 12 formal apologies, pay people to read your book. I don't think any of that would have helped. Because I think they had already decided that this, this woman it's a piece of shit, we're gonna throw her under the bus, and we're gonna keep her under the bus until she's not working anymore. But you know, it's all my opinions. I know that you have your own opinions, so be sure to tat a tat tat down in the comments section, and like the video, help support me. Subscribe if you would like to. I'll see you guys next time. Program restart.